Bitcoin or Ethereum? That's going to be the discussion this morning. Then at the end of the video, I'm going to share my personal thoughts on which coin to buy. Good morning, everybody. Now, let's start by analyzing the performance of these coins year to date. If you had bought Bitcoin on the 1st of January 2020, you would have paid $7,194 US dollars per coin. At today's value, it's $17,930. Now, this is an increase of about 150%. A very, very good return, no matter which way you look at it. Likewise, if you had bought Ethereum on the 1st of January 2020, you would have paid $129 US dollars per coin. At today's value of $529 US dollars, you're looking at a return of around about 300%. I think the appropriate response to that is simply wow. Now, let's talk about Bitcoin and why it is so vital and the tremendous upside of this coin. Bitcoin is a capped coin. It is a very, very scarce coin, the hardest money we have ever seen. And what we are currently seeing is that institutions and billionaires, the elite of the world, are buying Bitcoin. And this is something that we need to take note of because they are taking the Bitcoin out of the hands of the early adopters. And the reason they are doing this is because they understand the asymmetrical upside of Bitcoin, the scarcity and the potential. Now, it's not to say that Bitcoin is going to go to these huge heights that we are all envisaging, but it is highly likely. If you own Bitcoin or if you've owned Bitcoin in the past and you've got less Bitcoin than you owned, this is indicative of a flow of wealth back to the elite. So I'd like to urge everybody to accumulate as much Bitcoin as you can because we are going to see a dramatic, dramatic upside to Bitcoin. As the elites start to buy it, as the institutions start to buy it, it decreases the chance that this can fail. It decreases the chance that governments can step in and actually ban this coin. And it strongly increases the chance that Bitcoin will become the best store of value we have ever seen. Now, there is one negative that I just thought I'd like to share with regard to Bitcoin. And that is the fact that as the price goes up, and continues to climb. You know, we can see an old coin trader, we've got Bitcoin trading today at 286,000 Rand per coin. Human emotion, we don't always want to buy a fraction of a coin. So Bitcoin's getting out of the reach of the average man and he can no longer buy a unit or cannot buy a single coin. So we're forced to buy 0, 0.00 whatever of a Bitcoin. And human psychology, we don't like it if we can't buy a full Bitcoin. We might then start to look at other alternatives like Ethereum, which currently at about 8,200 Rand per coin is still expensive, but in reach of a lot of people. And the idea that you can own a full unit or a whole coin is very intriguing. So we may see as Bitcoin reaches these astronomical heights, people actually saying, listen, we've missed the boat with Bitcoin. Let's buy a coin that we can own a full unit. But other than that, the path of Bitcoin seems very clear and we are up for a massive, massive upside. Let's quickly talk about Ethereum. Now, Ethereum, as we know, has doubled the performance of Bitcoin with returns of 300% year to date. But Ethereum is more than that. Ethereum is a platform that we can build an alternative financial system on. So just take a second to think about this if you are a Bitcoin maximalist. And don't get me wrong, I am very, very bullish about Bitcoin. I believe Bitcoin is a true, true revolution and has changed everything we know about finances. But without Ethereum, we are not able to build a truly alternative financial system. We need Ethereum to develop the rails and the ability to take over a lot of the traditional financial uh, functionality. In other words, loans, insurance, um, registry of assets, of goods, and a whole host of other things. So 
to all the Bitcoin maximalists out there, I don't believe that these rails and this alternative financial system can be effectively built on Bitcoin. And this is why we need Ethereum. In addition to that, Ethereum has the ability through staking to allow people to earn passive income, to watch their investment and their coin grow. And this is very, very attractive. And this will cause more and more people to buy Ethereum because of that potential upside and that potential passive income or interest, if we want to think of it in the old traditional financial terms. So with the fact that if we are building the alternative financial system on Ethereum with the fact that you can earn passive income on Ethereum. These are all going to be factors that are going to make Ethereum a force to be reckoned with. Now, let's talk about the negatives with regard to Ethereum. Unlike Bitcoin, where we know there's only going to be 21 million Bitcoins ever created, Ethereum doesn't have a hard cap. We are currently experiencing inflation of around about 4.5% per annum. And it is envisaged long term that the Ethereum inflation rate will be capped at around about 2%. But that doesn't take away from the fact that there will always be more Ethereum entering the system. And of course, as we know from the traditional financial system, this has the potential to dilute the value of the coin. So Ethereum may or may not be a very, very valuable asset in the future, but it certainly has the utility and has extreme functionality, which we cannot do without. So if you're a Bitcoin maximalist or you're an altcoin person and you just think that you need altcoins, I would like to argue that both Ethereum and Bitcoin are vital in what we are planning to do in the building and changing of the current financial system. My personal view is that if you don't have both Ethereum and Bitcoin in your portfolio, it just doesn't make sense. I would suggest a percentage of 80 to 20 or 60 to 40 with Bitcoin being a higher percentage. That's what I have in my portfolio. And I think that that allows you to get the benefit of both. As we saw from my illustration earlier on in this video, Ethereum year to date has doubled the performance of Bitcoin. Whether this will continue long term, it is unclear, but I certainly think Ethereum has a huge upside and is something that cannot be ignored, not only for the gains in the coin, but the functionality that we are currently seeing being rolled out with Ethereum. Okay, guys, so if we know that we are currently in a massive, massive bull run, but looking at the figures when we woke up this morning, our coins and our value in our portfolios have plummeted. Now, if you're in this for the long term, treat it like you're in it for the long term. If you weren't planning on selling all your crypto, then these swings in the market are healthy and are normal. Don't sweat them. I've woken up, I've seen dramatic a downturn in the price of crypto but as i said i wasn't planning to sell so it really makes no difference i'm in it for the long term i act as if i'm in it for the long term and then finally in closing if you do not have a cryptocurrency portfolio in my previous videos i have said we've got to the stage where it can be considered well at least in my opinion irresponsible to not own cryptocurrency i would strongly suggest that you hit the link down below Go to Altcoin Trader and start a free account and start getting a cryptocurrency portfolio. You can start with whatever you like. Some people start with as little as 200 Rand per month and just buy a little bit of cryptocurrency every month. Altcoin Trader has been around since 2015. It is trusted by the community and it is a long term good exchange, easy to use and with a lot of functionality for those that are more advanced. That's it from me, guys. Peace.